Hello everybody, welcome back to Crafting Made Easy. For this tutorial, we will be um, putting alcohol ink on a wine glass. So for this project, you will need a wine glass. You can get this from the dollar store for a dollar. Um, you need a cup turner. You will need epoxy. I have different kinds of epoxy, but I have to finish using this box up and then I'll start using the other ones, but you can use any type of epoxy that you like. Um, a mixing cup medicine cups and alcohol inks so let's get started all right so I have a wine glass here uh, but I already spray painted this wine glass so this wine glass has been spray painted with white um, I want to say matte um, spray paint white matte spray paint um, this is a cup turner. I got this cup turner from Etsy and I will put the link in the description bar below if you are interested in purchasing one. I do not get any type of discount or any type of promo for sending you to these people. Um, I just like their turner. It's um, I, one of the best ones that I have. I think it's by like 3D printing or something like that. So, um, so I just put the... Um, wine glass on one of the turner attachments and this has styrofoam on it so it's kind of easy to get your um, cup or tumbler on and off so right here it has the styrofoam um, I put a plastic bag in there because as you see right here I put a tumbler on there and then it got stuck so I had to kind of like peel it off so this time I'm going to try put I tried putting a plastic bag in there to see maybe if that will help once I get to um, the stage where I need to take the cup off the turner um, and what else so the cup is spray painted white that's placed on a turner and it's in an off position right now right now I'm going to go ahead and mix my epoxy this is a two-part um, epoxy and I think I got this from Michaels and I use my 40% off coupon or maybe I use the Joann's coupon because you can use Joann's coupons at Michael's and you can um, get um, whatever percentage off they have. I think I used a 60% off coupon from Joann's a long time ago um, to get a pretty good discount on these because this is the 16 ounce bottles of epoxy. Oh, I forgot. You also need gloves and a respirator or a mask so I have this mask here so I will be putting this mask on once I start mixing my epoxy um, I don't get like an allergic reaction from the epoxy however I do sometimes um, get headaches from it because it is a strong has a strong smell so I will um, mix my epoxy I'm not going to mix it on camera right now I'll do it like a separate video showing you how to mix your epoxy up but um and by the time this video comes out, that video probably will already be um, out. So go ahead and check that out. So um, what you'll do is you'll take, because it's a one-to-one -one mix ratio. So you'll take part A, however milliliters you'll be using, and you just match it to part B. But again, I'll show you that in a separate video. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mix my epoxy, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. Um, I know you probably have a hard time hearing me um but i have mixed my epoxy for a total of three minutes scraping the sides and everything and now what you're going to do is you're just going to apply it to the cup so you want a nice amount on the cup so it can catch the um, alcohol inks. And I can already tell this plastic bag is going to get in my way, but it's important. I just want to apply a nice, generous amount to your cup. And you can use your glove finger or you can use. A silicone brush, which is a, um, my, a makeup brush from um, Dollar Tree. 
or you can buy them on um, Amazon. And I mixed about 15 milliliters. Well, 7.5 and 7.5 of A and 7.5 of B. So a total of 15. And you just want to make sure you get it all around your wine glass. Now you want to have a good amount because you want the alcohol inks to kind of move around. But it doesn't have to be um, like a thick coat, but a nice thin coat. Around your cup. I think that's good. And I'm just trying to use up all the epoxy and make sure I get it at the top where the plastic bag is. As you can already tell, it's going to be a pain. So I might try to stuff it in the cup. Just trying to stuff this bag in here so it's not on the cup. I don't want the turner to stop because then you have pooling of your epoxy. And you definitely don't want this bag to get in my way. There we go. See how it's overlapping the cup. That will be a problem when you go to um, put your alcohol ink. So, this piece does not want to go in the cup. There we go. All right, I'm just making sure. this cup turner because of the styrofoam makes it easy for any size cup to kind of go on but I don't like it because it sticks to your cup and I think they also have this attachment um, but I didn't really try to see if it could go on the wine glass and I guess I it can uh oh it can go on the wine glass. I just tried it on a different one. So you see, it can fit inside the wine glass. I just chose to use the um, styrofoam one. Okay, so we have that all situated. I am going to change my glove. All right. 
Okay. Um, another thing you'll also use or, or you can use to help clean up some messes is baby wipes. So regular old huggy baby wipes. Because I got a little epoxy over here on my desk. So I'm just going to clean it up with the baby wipe so it doesn't stick to my um, desk. Because once the epoxy sticks to your desk, it's kind of hard to get it up. I'm going to lay my mat down here. As I try not to touch the cut. Okay, here we go. Alright. So, let's see. There's a little spot there. I'm going to wait till it comes back around. And it does look like there are some um, bubbles. I'm just going to put the leftover that I have. There we go. And to pop bubbles, you can use a torch or a heat gun. I have a heat gun, so I'm going to just use that really quick. Now you don't want to keep it on there long, you just want to do it really quick because you don't want to burn your epoxy. I have done that before, then you try to put the stuff on there and it doesn't move at all. Hmm, what else is not smooth right there? For some reason, it's not. I think I hit it. Okay, just make sure I'm trying to just one spot where I think I hit it when I was trying to put the mat down. Something on it too. All right. Okay. So there we go. It's nice and smooth now. Oh, there's something on there. So, I'm just going to just do random drops of alcohol ink to see what it looks like. There's no rhyme or reason. Just kind of dropping and going. So, this is from Pinata and the Santa Fe Red, Rainforest Green, Baja Blue. Blanco. Uh, what is this one? This is Cur This is from Marabou, and this is from Carib. This is Caribbean, and then we have Rich Gold. All right. So you just want to do, and you can do as many drops as you see fit.
Now it looks really crazy right now, but once it starts mixing. Ooh, I like it. Oh my goodness, look at that go! Alright, so there's, like I said, there's no rhyme or reason to how I'm putting this in here. I'm just dropping it. And, you know, just seeing how it will look. Once it kind of mixes all together. They look like little centipedes. <laughs> the way it kind of falls. hitting it with the heat torch a little bit to kind of move the colors around a little bit more. I'm just trying to mix up some of the Look at that red down at the bottom. Oh my god. Okay, so what I did by accident was unscrew the top and it poured down. So, 
don't do like I do. If you ever buy Marabou from uh, Mr. Nola's Glitter, all you have to do is pull the top off. I accidentally twisted it and wasn't paying attention to it. And I accidentally poured all of that onto my cup. So, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Definitely did not mean to do that. Alrighty. Okay. So. <laughs> wow. I cannot believe I did that. And it's running to the bottom. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I mean, most of it got on the cup, but a lot of it got on my mat, which is really annoying me the most. So, let me see if I can try to scoop it and just drop it on here. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe I did that. And it's just slowly moving around. Like I said, you can always use the heat gun and move it around. Or you can um, just let it move around naturally. And see how that kind of already blended in with that blue. I love that. And I like the white peeping out. So I won't um, do a lot of the white. I mean not do a lot. I won't cover up a lot of the white. I love that gold. This area right here, I love. Like, O O V E love. Yeah, I'm not going to cover up too much of the white because I love the white. And even though making the pouring all that Caribbean out like I I like it <laughs> even though I poured a lot of it out by accident I like what it did And I picked these colors because I have to do a, a tumbler and um, it's like Aztec and I wanted to see what these colors would kind of look like together and I, I like them. I like them a lot. Now I'm definitely going to have to use that blue and gold colors together.
Okay, so I think I am done adding stuff. I think I'm going to add one more thing. And it's from Marabou, and it's called Rainbow. And it kind of just gives it like an extra... Um, color. It gives it like a um, like a shimmery color to it. Now this is my first wine glass. Oh my god, look at that. This is my first uh, alcohol ink wine glass. So I think I should have put a little bit more epoxy on it. But we live and we learn. Do y'all see how this glue, this rainbow is giving it like a extra glimmer. I'm gonna put it in the gold. I'm gonna put a little drop here. Oh, there we go. Oh, that part looks like a map. <laughs> like I really like it. And that part right there, oh, I love that. But I really do feel like I should have put a little bit more um, oh my goodness, epoxy on here. But I like it. I love the colors together. I'm trying to get it in these white spots instead of just... Oh goodness, I have to get that one on next go around. But in the short time that it's been recording, you can see how the um the alcohol inks are just blending in together. Alright, so I'm trying to get where it's white at the rainbow so it can have like that extra sheen to it now like I said I got the marabou well I got all the alcohol inks from um Mr. Nola's glitter but I think marabou is specifically them pinata I believe you can get from like any um um, oh my goodness, any craft store like Michael's or anywhere online, Amazon sells pinata, but the Marabou I've only seen on Mr. Nola's um, glitter. All right. So that's pretty much it. I will show you what the cup looks like once it's dry. Um, I'm not sure if I want to put a decal on there. I'm still contemplating that because like right now I am loving this cup. And um, I didn't put a lot of alcohol inks on the bottom, but the bottom looks very nice. I'll have to show you once it's done. There we go. I wanted to get that spot right there. Give it some um, extra sparkle. But anyway, uh, I will show you what the cup looks like once I had, once it's finished spinning. I'm going to leave it on the turner for about four hours. I'm just kind of rotating. And then um, I will turn it off. And or, you know what? Matter of fact, I'll probably just leave it on overnight. I typically do that. Um, it's not bothering anybody. It's not in the way of anything. So I'll probably just leave it on here overnight. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just let it continue to turn. 
and blend in because right now I am loving it like really loving how these colors look I think I want to put a little white there though oh I didn't mean two drops because <laughs> that was kind of um it was too dark there um but yeah i'm gonna just walk away from it because if i don't i'm just i think i'm gonna mess it up but anyway i'm gonna leave it turning on a turner overnight and then i'll show you what the finished product looks like in the morning all right okay so the cup dried overnight i just turned the turner on just so you can see what it looks like all over And this right here looks blue in the camera, but it's actually like a green. Maybe when I take pictures, you'll be able to see it. But at any rate, that is the cup. Um, I think I'm going to put a decal on it. So I will go ahead and cut out a decal to put on the cup. And then look at that rainbow shimmer in there. Oh my goodness, I love that. Um, I am going to put a decal on it, show you how to kind of place the decal, and then I'll put another coat of epoxy on it, let that run um, for about four hours, four to six hours, and then um, it'll be done. So the cup is done and I am excited about it like it really turned out better than I thought it would especially since I spilled um, the marabou like I don't know why it's picking up blue in the camera but it is like really green um, I'm not sure if it's just my view that you see the blue or you can actually see the green in there um, but this cup I have another cup on the spinner um, I'll show that to you in a few but first let me just show you it did the styrofoam did get stuck to the cup even though I tried my very best to um, make it so it would not get stuck it did like in some places I already took off a, um, a bunch because it was a lot more but it did get stuck here so I thought I would come back on camera to just show you how you can get any like um, epoxy or anything off the top and you basically I just spray it with um, 100% not 100% 91% alcohol on the top just to kind of wet it up you can also heat up your um, exacto knife if you wish I don't heat it up um, but you can if you want to and you just kind of go across the top of your tumbler your wine glass in this case and you just kind of scrape it and you see how it is coming off 
and you don't want to do it too hard but you don't want to be too gentle because it, you know you the object is to kind of get it off and you want to get all that extra off your rim and I do have some stuff on the inside you can see how that's just easily coming off and you can see the inside um, where everything kind of popped off now on the inside it's kind of rough on the top so without messing it up too much I'm just going to kind of go around the top And then I'm going to take my, oh, just stuck my finger. Oh my goodness. I think I just put my mouse in, my, in some wet epoxy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I told you I am a messy crafter. <laughs> so I'm going to go around this with my baby wipe. And kind of just get that off. And on the inside, I'm not sure if you can see, because the inside of the glass is white. Um, there is like some epoxy inside. I will just take some acetone. Which this is, um, nail polish remover. This is all they had in Walmart. So this is what they gave me. Um, but it works just the same. It is still acetone. So you do definitely want to be careful and use in an open, um, ventilated area. I should just say ventilated area um, because it does have a strong smell. And you just want to kind of go around the inside of your cup or tumbler. And for this, I just want to kind of scrape it. But I want to be gentle, especially with this because it is glass and I don't want to be too rough with it. If it was a stainless steel tumbler, I would kind of put a little bit more pressure on it. But since it's glass, you want to kind of be careful because you don't want to break your um, glass. All right, and that works. So just kind of go around it. Let the acetone eat it up. And uh, because you're using acetone on the cup, you want to definitely make sure you clean it out with um some soap and water you can use any type of soap i use um for my craft projects i don't know i guess because um others say it works well i use um, dawn but it's like a great value brand but you know it's all the same it's a generic dawn but um you just kind of go around and you definitely want to be careful because your exacto knife is sharp and we don't want any trips to the emergency room. Right. And that's pretty much all you basically do. You just kind of go around it on the inside. And like I said, I'm dropping a whole bunch of stuff on the inside of the cup. So I will definitely wash this out before I use it. Just want to make sure all the epoxy, dried up epoxy is, and this um, epoxy is FDA compliant. You definitely want to use one that is FDA compliant before you go um, putting it on anything that will be used um, for food purposes or like if you're putting food on it or anything like that, you want to make sure it is FDA compliant before you use it. Um, a lot of them, you can go to their website and find out if the epoxy that you are using is FDA compliant and um, you can go ahead and use that. I know um, the one I'm using, Aluminite, is FDA compliant. Um, I believe Culture Counter is FDA compliant. Um, Quickstone, like a bunch of them are FDA compliant. So you just kind of want to read um, the bottle and read the instructions that come inside to just be sure that you can use it for um to drink out of if you do use one that is not or use certain stuff on it you can always use it for like a cup holder or um 
makeup brushes, you know, different stuff like that. But if you're there, if you're selling it for um, food consumption or anything like that, you definitely want to make sure it is FDA compliant. All right. So I'm not going to keep it on here too long while I clean it. But this is the cup. I will show a final pick at the end. Um, I hope you can see that sparkle from that rainbow. That's a little right there. You probably can't even see it. But I will take a better um, picture and video of it at, and you can see it at the end. But anyway, if you enjoyed the content of this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and hit the um, subscribe button to be to be subscribed to my channel and then hit the notification bell to be notified for when I drop new videos. All right, everyone. Until next time. Peace.